This is the DC Circuit Kit from Physics Educational Technology, phet.colorado.edu. Let's start with a battery. A battery is an automatic source of voltage difference. It's got a high end and a low end, a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Current wishes to flow from high voltage to low voltage. Set up a battery, play around with it. You can see it's full of electrons, but they're not going anywhere. If we want to turn this light on, if we want to make it actually work, we're going to need some sort of current. Well, we can connect things up with wires. We can have a wire on the way in. We can have a wire on the way out and have them, as some people tried in class uh, on the lab, both go to the same place. Notice the electrons are not moving. There's no current. There's no voltage difference. There's high voltage, there's more high voltage. It doesn't do any good. Yeah, let's get rid of that. We'll connect this here. We'll connect this there. And we will connect this end to a broken piece of metal. Now, there's a way in, but there's no way out. How much current flows when there's a way in and no way out? Think about it. It's like traffic on the highway. If all the lanes are backed up, if there's a huge accident at Dundee and you just can't get through, no traffic is going to move. Not at Dundee where the accident is, not at Tower Road, not at Willow, not at Lake, not even anywhere further south. The highway will be completely backed up for miles. Once there's a way out, then the current will flow. The current doesn't start flowing until there's a way in and a way out.